for the direct damage. Let's see, does he pop anything on this? Oh, he draining shields on this. Interesting. He draining shields on an 1800 attack monster. And hits himself for 300. Good thing about this deck, we're banishing cards. We're not sending them to the graveyard, so. It's pretty sick. Might be another draining. I don't really care, though. Oh, it goes through! Feels poggers! Alright, we're in a good spot, I think. Probably got infinitely more back row, though. Another face down. Triggered. Shadow game. You go hit yourself for 100. Swift to guy! Oh, this is so pog champ, bro. Everything gets banished. Nothing's hitting the grave. Countered. <laughs> He's gonna tilt. Field spell activations. Alright, special summon this thing. Uh, use the ones from my hand. I thought I was sacrificing a field monster for a second. Yes, pop that effect. Pop it right there, baby. Pop that effect, yeah. Pop it for your boy. Mm. Guns, did you snipe this Bajo? <laughs> Good question. Everything gets banished, dude. Pop that effect for me, dimensional. Oh, yeah, pop it right there. Mm. Going for 18. Let's go. What could these two back rows be? All I know is the more back row he pops, the better for me. Unless he gets a lava golem out. Window storm. Okay, that was unexpected, but that's another 300 to his nuts. This deck is trash, just like my life. Ha 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 he he ho ho. Wait, what? Feels bad for your life, man. But hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> this deck's doing pretty well. IMO. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna attack with my Swift with the Spiral Spear. Skull Invitation. Interesting. Does this guy not know that his Skull Invitations are only hitting himself? <laughs> like, come on, dude. Come on, bruh. Look at this. I don't have a graveyard. No. Keep it in defense mode. Wall of disruption. No. Oh. Oof. It's a war That's actually a tilter. And now we just let Shadow Game do the rest of the work. I have nothing in my graveyard, so. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do. Or I could tribute one of these off. Or fuse this guy off. Mask of the Accursed. Ah, oh, that's gonna be a problem. I need to tribute a monster off now. It's gonna put it on my Gaia the Dragon Champion. It's a problem. Okay. Monster, please. Gateway. Oh, perfect! I think he's done now. But I did just send a card to my graveyard. Is this going to be worth it? Is this even going to be worth it? Because it's going to send his mask. It's going to send two of my monsters to the grave. Which is 600 to my nuts at, Uh, 1200 actually. I'm going to sack this boy and this one. But the thing is, will Warm Worm kill me first? Wait. Okay, this is crucial, dude. Maybe sh I should just attack this monster. Let's go. Big shield, Gardner! Tilted! <laughs> okay. 
Interesting. Interesting, dude! Wow! Alright, this this one's going on the tubes, bro. <laughs> Alright, alright, so the animal mindset behind the play was that if I attack the worm, and if Skull Invitation's effect starts a chain, it would damage me first because Worm Worm would resolve first, and mill my cards and damage me before uh, Skull Invitation damages him, so I thought maybe I should just take my chances on the face down, hopefully it's not a Worm Worm or a Big Shield Gardener. Now obviously that's flawed thinking, Skull Invitation's effect does not start a chain, so it was indeed an animal play, and I would have had lethal if I just attacked into the Warm Worm, and he would have taken the damage as soon as Warm Worm hit the grave. Anyways, for today we just have another free-to-play Sky Galp and Gaia deck while we're waiting for the new cards to come through. And this one's focused on the Beneesh, so Fusion Gate vanishes uh, when it fuses, Dimensional Alchemist vanishes, and then Escape from the Dark Dimension gets you those extra special summons, which is why we're only running Dark Fusion materials. And it's as simple as that. I run Restart for the consistency. Theoretically, you could also run Aroma Strategy, which could be good, because you'll know exactly when to pop your Dimensional Alchemist. Anyways, that's it from me. Have yourselves a good one, my boys. And this is Guns Blazing, signing out. Mm, aroma Strategy, Hazy. At least it's not nerfed. Please be Harpies, though. Oh, it's actually Harpies, not E. <laughs> and of course, I draw a hand like this. Fuck you. Oh, look at that, dude. That's a hand. That's a hand. All we need now is a trap, and then we're all set. Oh! I don't deserve this. I don't. Activate that field spell, boy. I don't deserve this, dude. I don't deserve it. Yeah, let's, let's activate this. I'm not going to play the Spiral Spear Strike this turn, though. Because it could just get killed. Hmm. I'm going to set that and then play the Dimensional Elk. If it turns out to be Wall of Disruption, I'm going to be a very sad panda. But what can you do? Alright, you milled out Swift Gaia. That's not so bad. Is that lethal? Not me. You know what? Let's do this. Because it, it stops Wild Tornado from popping on my monster. That's so sexy. Not be targeted by Wild Tornado. Then all I have to do is pick up Lord of uh, Lord of D, and then it's game. I doubt he can get over my Tyrant. What the Nani is this, dude? Is this last gamble? Uh, Last Gamble, Frost and Flame Dragon. Dark World Dealings. Are you for real right now? Uh, I was hoping to pick up a... Wait, I don't have Sphere Ebola in this deck, never mind. Thought I had Sphere Ebola. I don't. Okay, Botanical Girl. Last Gamble. Interesting order. Plays everything first and then last gambles. That's the kind of player I strive to be. If we get Stormed and uh, Frost and Flame, it's all over. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. Yep, Frost and Flame. That's not even lethal on board. What am I saying? <laughs> this guy doesn't even have lethal on board. Unless he has a second Frost and Flame. Wait. 
Yeah, I should have popped Mirror Wall just to just to sponge the damage. And as well, it's not too late. It's not too late. Just because I didn't pop it on the last one doesn't mean I shouldn't pop it on this one. I should have just Mirror Walled on both. No, I'm not gonna pop the skill. Lord of D, let's get it. Let me show you what Kaiba Corp Bling is all about. I'll show you when that hotline bling, it can only mean one thing. Even though I didn't use a skill. See, even if the Econ takes this, I can still pop through. The flute for the salutes. Oh, guns in before wall disruption! Guns, he could have wall disruption! Oh no! Oh, he has windstorm crap. <laughs> I windstorm before my uh, batage phase. The thing is, though, uh, he can't. can't kill me yet. And he can't destroy my blue eyes. Yet. He, he has to destroy my Lord of D before he destroys my blue eyes. And this is a once per turn effect, so. Go ahead. I am worried about more Frost and Flames, though. It's another set. Two sets. And a monster. Interesting. And he ends his. T why don't? Why doesn't he switch these to defense mode? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Kaibakor Bling. Because once I play that Kaibakor Bling. It can only mean one thing. Me on ah, so phone. spicy. Look at that. Prismatic blue eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful. You already played Windstorm, so we don't have to play around that anymore. Any controller. More stalling! Great gasm. Wow. Sick play, dude. Sick play. I know when that hotline bling can only mean one thing. Connection error? Really? Can't even sonic boom now. In about 25 hours. Okay, this filth is uh, charging up for his next move, so I'm just going to fuse it out. Field spell activates, baby. Thought you were gonna woodlint on turn three? Think again. You cheap buddy. Watch closely. I fuse my monster's effect. Activate. I will trample all over your front lawn. And sell it on eBay. For less than fourteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Exactly! Waiting for a response. Hmm. Thinking emoji. Into the void already. This guy's going all in on turn one. I mean, you can't wait, eh? You cannot wait. Yes. 
justice is served. You will not OTK me, you filth. It will not happen. Your golden bamboo will not save you. Cup of Ace will roll tails. Yes, it will. Get out of here. There's always some filth running some deck that's about to be nerfed anyways. Please give me that. Yeah. Give me that tails, baby. Wow, still no flute. Interesting. Oh, there you go. Look at that voice line. That's sick. That's sick, Mokuba. I'm gonna let you watch the full animation, my Bajo, so we can waste more of this uh, this burn player's time. Look at that, it's beautiful. The white dragon is the right dragon. And we got Tyrant just for good measure. And two mirror walls. How about that? Blue eyes, white truck. Drink her milk. Look at that. They both face Lord of D. My boys, if if you're playing Lord of D flute and you have Tyrant and Blue Eyes, you better be summoning Blue Eyes on the right and Tyrant on the left. If you don't do it that way, then I refuse to be associated with you.